So Marina and I just spoke to all different contractors, the electrical guy, the HVAC guy, the general contractor, got a list of what material we need because we're about to go to Home Depot. So let's go there and get all of the material. See you guys at Home Depot. <laughs> Why am I in the master bathroom? That didn't work. <laughs> There's a wasp. Let's try it again. We are here as a Home Depot. All right, <clears throat> why am I here? Here to buy some material that the contractor needs. Some of the small items that we can buy and fit into the... The Bugatti Chiron. <laughs> um, and then I'll have the contractor buy the stuff that they need. So they need to buy fence material today as well to sort and install the fence. I'm also here because I bought a tankless water heater, which is more compact, more convenient to install into the house, and it's instant hot water, which is good. The problem was that we didn't have enough uh, breakers in the electric panel to be able to install this, so we just had to get your regular tanked water heater. And also I had some ceramic that I bought for the fireplace that I need to return, so let's do that. Okay. So no matter where you are, even in Los Angeles where there's, I feel like 15,000 bloggers and YouTubers and it's very widespread and known that people have a camera in their face and what they do it for. People just don't accept the fact that <laughs> there's a dude walking around with a camera, especially in this part of the world. And it's so funny seeing the expressions on their faces. I swear, that's probably one of my favorite reasons why I come to Home Depot and do this, but we don't care. We don't care, we don't care. All right, we're here to uh, get some electrical wires. So these bad boys are hella thick, they look like this. They're expensive, $300, $400, All right, I'm gonna go home. I'm not paying for this. So we also need some halo lights for the outside deck. <laughs> I think I found it. So we need four inches, 60 watts. Four inches, 60 watts with a box connector. That was easy. What's next on the list? So we got lights. We have also have the fire extinguisher. So by code to pass final inspection, you need two of these in the house. So we got two of those, the lights. We're gonna go over to the paint section, find paint for the front door. Again, I'm thinking orange. Look at all these options. What are you looking at? Orange? Yeah. Okay. Look at, guys, look, check out Marina's half smile. She's like, hmm. I'm not. <laughs> someone's, someone's having a bad day. No. All right. I was okay. thinking like a, like a bright orange, like something like this. What do you think? Tiki torch. No, it's too orange. That's, no, it's too red. Too red? I like this. That looks kind of... I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Joyful. It's Bond gonna be flipped. But joyful orange. Alright, so we, we really... <laughs> we realized that the Front porch is gonna be stained, not colored, so we really don't need color, color for that. Yo, what's happening with my English? We realize we don't need <laughs> but we do need foundation, so like the steps to the front and like the gravel that we have in the front that we just added on, all that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna have to be colored. For those, I'm thinking these two shades right here. So I have a shadow mountain and a dark ash. I just can't eat these. Oh. So your hands are gonna be famous, I'm trying to say. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. you too. Mm -hmm. 
see you guys at the house. Why well, isn't working? <laughs> Yo, I'm supposed to be at the house. What is this? Why am I here? What is this? Capital Electrics. Oh, got you, got you guys. I'm supposed to be here to buy some wiring. That's why I'm here. And then the house. All right, so while Marine is taking care of that, I have to make a few phone calls. I'm planning on putting an offer for another property here in Richmond as well. Um, the ARV for the property, the after repair for value is around $250,000, but I'm looking to see if I can offer them around 140 to 150 max. So I'll put that offer in. I'll keep you guys posted as the videos go on, you know, if they accept or de deny that offer. Yeah, all right, this time we'll see you at the crib. Back at the crib. All right, got back here. We are doing a walk around. The siding guy completed the work. So we're gonna go ahead and inspect everything, make sure it's all good, and then give him his payment. But yeah, as you can see, the siding has been all installed. They've installed the downsprout, downsprouts as well. Looks good and solid. It's the back side. This was very important because when we walked in today, this was not here. We had a purple one, so they replaced this as well. And then that one was just like hanging out. So that one's replaced as well. Looking good. Same with this. All right, quick update. So we're gonna go to the bank right now. Uh, I just did inspection on the siding of the house. Everything looks good. We're gonna get the check to the, damn, I'm sweating mad hard. Yeah, I'm trying to look sexy and it's not working. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the bank, get the siding guys check, and we're gonna we're gonna pay him because uh, he completed the work. And from there, we're gonna go eat. I'm starving, and then we'll come back and we'll do the uh, patch test on. So this is what we need to paint. So all of this, all the way up, needs to be stained and painted, and then the wood up there is gonna be stained. We'll do the test for that and then we'll patch test the door as well to see which orange we like, but obviously we're gonna go with the joyful one, right guys? Because I made up my mind and ain't no one gonna change that. Not even Marina. <laughs> so let's go get this done and I'll see you guys at, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna eat. I'll see you somewhere. All right, just paid the contractor. The other day we went to uh, have food at this shopping center. And I saw that spot, it's called Witch Itch. Witch Witch, sandwich spot, but it was closed. There's a girl that went to the door, she knocked on it and it was closed and she looked so upset. And I was like, yo, is it a good spot? She's like, it's the best sandwich place here. So now we're here and we're gonna try it out. We'll let you guys know how good it is. All right, so I was confused on how to take the ham or the bacon out, but they have a BYO. Hold your own. Regular avocado, continue, oh, wheat, hot. We'll do cheddar. Actually, we'll do Swiss. Actually, we'll do pepper jack. That's order. For drinks, we will do handmade shakes, regular drinks, large drinks, kids' drinks. Check out. We're good with that. All right, guys, time to feast. So I got a turkey club sandwich with a little bit of avocado in it because I'm trying to be healthy. And Marina promised me she'll give me her half. I'll give her, I'll give her nothing. <laughs> I'll give her my half. Oh, yours is gigantic. And you got what, a chicken steak buffalo sandwich? Chicken buffalo. Buffalo. Chicken buffalo. All right, I'm gonna try yours first. Yeah. This looks amazing. Look at this. What'd you get? Try it. What should I do for you guys? Oh wow. Close up to the hype. Let's go. From one to ten. Six and a half. Ten being the best sandwich ever. Six and a half. All right guys, one last thing I do want to mention before I end the video. Um, I was literally about to close up, close the house, came down here. There was a blue car that pulled up next to me um, and guy gets out of the car, introduces himself. He's like, hey, I live in the area, this, this and that. Just looks around the house, being very suspicious, looks, looks to the side, 
he's asking me questions, are you the owner, do you do this, do you do that? I'm just like, I'm, I'm being very like one worded. Um, very short with my answers. Anyways, he's like, hey, I have a set of tools in the back of my car that I want to sell to you because I need gas money. I was like, man, I was like, I don't do the work myself, I'm good. And I walk over to my car. He's like, man, he's like, it's really cheap, I need gas money. I was like, bro, I was like, I asked you, I told you, I don't do any work myself, I don't need the tools. Thank you for offering the tools to me though. And then he's like, got you. He leaves, right after he leaves, another car pulls up, parks like right there. Um, and we're at the front of the house at this point. Sees us, they drive away as well. Very suspicious. What is happening in this area, this area is very predominant for theft, right? It's a safe area, it's close to a college, very known college here in, in the state, but these things, the HVAC units, um, we have two of these in the house. So we have one here and then one on the other side. They're not really secured to the ground yet, they're just connected. Um, this is what people steal in, these, in this area. Each of these costs around $3,000. So we have one here, and one on the other side. So typically what people do is they just build like a cage, something around it, so it's harder to steal. We haven't done that yet. We're planning on doing that tomorrow, but with that moment happening with that gentleman stopping by and asking us questions, I feel like very likely if we don't do anything about it tonight, they might steal these units. Here's unit number two. So what I'm thinking is finding a way to secure it to something tonight, but the other precaution that I took to mitigate this risk, I called the uh, non-emergency line. Police officers showed up, two very nice officers. They were kind about it. As soon as I told them half the story about what happened, who came, what they were you know, asking me, he's like, yeah, he's like, is it about your HVAC units? I was like, yeah. I was like, obviously you, you, know, you put two and two together. He's like, yes. He's like, are they secured? I was like, no, the units are not secured. He's like, what we're gonna do is we're gonna patrol the area more often tonight, more than usual, about once every hour, if you don't get any serious calls. And he's like, well, you know, we'll keep an eye out as well for on the house. So I feel safer now knowing that the officer's gonna do that. But cross your fingers, guys. I can't afford to lose that because it's gonna just set everything back financially. From a time perspective, it's not gonna be good. All right, cross fingers. Nothing happens. I'll see you guys next episode, hopefully with no terrible news. Peace out, guys. Thank you for watching, as always.